internet, welcome back to Nerd Locker Table Talking segment. Counter top talking. Counter top talking time. Yeah. So the K. I yeah. like that yeah. counter. Either way, <laughs> it looks like uh, the Star Wars universe video games were were gonna be no more there for me. Yeah, with Lucas the, Arts shut down. Terrible, terrible thing, Disney. Uh, terrible. It looks like they Disney just signed an exclusive deal with EA Games to put out Star Wars games, which is odd because Disney seems to make awesome decisions. Yeah. But EA has been voted what, two years in a row. Two now? years in a row, which For is kind of worst like a joke. company. Yes, in, in, a, America. in America. Um, mind you, they've made some great games, and they have some of the biggest selling titles. And I know you got you were crazy about Dead Space Three. I love Dead Space. Uh, I I have enjoyed a lot of EA games, and I'm not going to say that they're a terrible company. But they've definitely missed the mark a few times. I mean, the same with a couple around, games, yeah. Like, you know, there's certain things that. Have kind of been jacked on their part, and and like the the support for their games. That's another thing that people have kind of like eh, been iffy about. And for me, being a huge Star Wars game fan, like I just started playing the Old Republic, so don't hate on me yet. Like I don't know much about that, but I played Kotor and Knights of the Old Republic two a million times before. Uh, Battlefront was a huge game of my like childhood. Republic Commando, like oh, absolutely, I mean, all those games. Rogue Squadron. I mean, Star Wars games go back and back, and a I lot mean, of them yeah, have I've been, been playing Star Wars games. Epic. Since. Yes, a lot of them have been absolutely awesome and great. And Rogue Squadron on N sixty four. Rogue Squadron, so Love good. Love it. Uh, I, I want a game like that again. And and there was thirteen thirteen. Looked like it was gonna be freaking now, sweet. That is, they have not announced yet all the games that were in production. Thirteen no, thirteen. It was thirteen thirteen and First Assault. That was and the only two that we were working on. I was really and hoping that we were getting a third. Battle Oh, because that is the second one was kind of short, but that story I really liked. But there's no word of any of these games continuing production. So I mean, I, I'm not gonna, they're dead in the water. I'm not gonna leave it out of, out of the out of the realm of possibility, being that it's Disney property now and they can do whatever the hell they want with and it. And those look promising. They look great, but I think they might go on with newer titles, newer things. Who knows? I mean, we're still. They just announced this, and if you think about it, a game in general takes anywhere from three to five years to make. So it's gonna be a while. I mean, they might be working on some stuff already. But it's still well, I, I heard they are something. looking to put out their first game around the same time that the next Star Wars movie is going to come out, which makes sense. Two years. But I just hope it's not a movie first. game. Yeah, because those a are A Star usually... Wars game that's forced. Ah! Uh, <laughs> you talked yourself into that oh, one, Brandon. Man. What douche. The things I say. Anyways, um, that would be terrible if a Star Wars game wasn't forced. Um, because you wouldn't be able to do anything, nah. truthfully. I mean, oh. what, are you going to be hand solo the whole time? Yeah, that sounds cool, but it's not the Force. You're not choking anyone, not using lightning. Yeah. Anyways, anyways. Uh, I don't know. I'm, I'm torn, man, because I really don't have any faith in EA. I'm right there with you, but I have faith in Disney. So and in Star Wars and in, in everything that it could be cool at least to so you gotta extent. figure they've got something up their sleeve picking EA because they could have gone anywhere. No, well EA has the biggest profile. EA is usually like you know the biggest selling titles with Madden and stuff like yeah. that. They have they have the numbers, they just don't have the reputation. Well, right now. Let's see so, what Disney does to that. Let us know what you guys are excited for, not excited for with Star Wars video games in the comments below us.